hello to our people coming in and people tuning into the live stream now and later. I'm Eve Parker Finley, the symposium director, Pop Montreal. Come take a seat. <laughs> um, I'm so excited to have this conversation be going on about an amazing film and an amazingly interesting topic about language, about belonging, about so many things. Um, without further ado, I don't want to take up any more time in the conversation. I'm going to give it up, give it off to our moderator, Agatha DeSantis. Thank Applause. you so Woo! much, Eve. Um, and thank you to Pop Montreal for having us here today. Uh, and also for screening our film, uh, Cagliari QC, which we'll talk about a little bit more during the panel. Um, so this panel, we're going to look at some of the themes that have come up in our film, um, looking at sort of, you know, the film follows Marco Cagliari's career and his identity during his prolific career, uh, both here in Quebec, across Canada, and abroad. And so we're going to look at some of the questions that have popped up in the film, um, you know, songwriters from Quebec's cultural, linguistic, and indigenous plura plurality, um, is there a place for them uh, in the Quebec music industry um, and in society as a whole, but mostly in the industry itself? Um, so we've got a few people here from the film and a few guests uh, who are uh, we're going to talk to. Uh, I'll start um, with um, Aisha Vertu. Bonjour. And we should say um, the panel is... English and French, so feel free. Anglais, s'il vous plaît. C'est ça. Alors, feel free to speak as, uh, you know, you feel most comfortable. We've got Anita Aloisio, who is the director of uh, Cagliari QC. Hello. Paul Carnello is a local singer-songwriter, and he's also one of the protagonists in the film. And uh, we have uh, Marco Cagliari, who's about to join us on stage. Uh, he's the main uh, protagonist in the film. Hey, Marco. And my name is Agatha DeSantis, so I'm the moderator today, and I'm also uh, the um, producer of Cagliari QC. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to ask everyone on the panel to introduce themselves, uh, tell us what you do, and um, specifically the music industry or in for the film. So we'll start with Aisha. Hello. My name is Aisha Vertu. Um, uh, I'm an artist, too, uh, by the name of Gaillons. So I uh, produce electronic music and I do some songwriting and some singing as well. And I am the music consultant in programming for Pop Montreal. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, I also uh, do some content. Uh, 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 I used to be a content producer at Radio Canada for the past two years as well. Excellent. Anita? Excellent. Uh, yeah, so I'm a, a documentary filmmaker. Uh, Cagliari QC is my third uh, doc, and I like to focus on how um, Quebec's immigration and language policies affect particularly minority communities and cultural communities and plurilingual communities in Quebec. So my name is Agatha DeSantis. Uh, I'm a documentary film producer and director, and with Cagliari QC, I'm the producer of the film. Paul? Uh, Paul Carniello, punk rock warlord. <laughs> a war you're a warrior, man. <laughs> uh, I'd, I've written, you know, thousands and thousands of songs. And yeah. I'm in a recording studio and have, have a long career of releasing music. And you're a dad. That too. Your dad. I'm a dad. My name is Marco <laughs> Cagliari. This is Milan, my daughter. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Milan. Uh, I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, uh, booker, agent. Uh, <laughs> uh, I try my best and um, I'm born here but with Italian origins and I mostly sing in Italian, so in a different language uh, of wherever I'm standing, let's say I can say that. So uh, that's it. Great, and we're going to start. Anita, do you want to give us, um, so I'll have two questions for you. Tell us a little bit about the film, sort of what Cagliari QC is all about, and what inspired you to make the film. Sure. Um, so Cagliari QC is a, is a film about um, uh, artists that are either born in Quebec or have been here for a very, very long time and that um, feel that they, they're of different cultural backgrounds. Um, 
and have decided to compose um, lyrics, music that speak to their um, cultural heritage. And most of them have also decided to sing mm. in different languages and in their mother tongue. So the question I pose in the film is how do these artists, uh, what, are, what are the challenges that these artists face when they decide to compose in languages other than English and French and Quebec? Are they recognized uh, as um, full contributors to Quebec uh, cultural patrimony? Uh, how does the industry um, recognize their work? Uh, how, how is it quote unquote categorized? So that's the question I pose in this film and it really stems from the fact that I too am born from uh, uh, Italian immigrant parents uh, in Montreal, um, lived through a lot of the political uh, upheaval of the 1970s and so my whole uh, like film trajectory really looks at uh, the pressures that women face from cult certain cultural backgrounds in Quebec, the duality and plurality and identity uh, questioning. And my second film was about uh, the impact that uh, the Charter of the French language has had on the first generation of children uh, faced with having to go to French school following the adoption of Bill 101 in 1977. I'm part of that cohort, so we look at, I looked at that how these linguistic uh, policies and laws affect generations, the first and the generations, uh, the future generations. And Cagliari is sort of the culmination, all right? Um, Marco Cagliari is the protagonist. We've been, you know, colleagues, friends, fellow artists, um, and he is the catalyst of this whole question. His whole parcours, his whole ca career, his whole journey really speaks to those challenges and also his innate, um, attachment uh, and sense of belonging that he has created through his music uh, to Quebec, to Montreal, but without really sacrificing his very strong link to um, his Italian um, heritage. So these are the questions that are raised in the film, and it turns out that it's not only Marco that has these questions, but his fellow artists, fellow musicians, um, and so they're, ver they're very important questions because it, it affects how one defines oneself. And Marco, um, and I'm asking this also as a documentary film producer, because I'm always curious, you know, we, we ask someone to be part of the film, but we sort of, you know, we come in into your life. We disrupt for seven you for years. a while, yeah. For seven years. <laughs> Tell us sort of, you know, being the protagonist of this film, like what was your reaction, A, and how does it feel because you can't tell by your look, but Marco's been doing music for over 30 years. 30, 33 years. So how does it feel to sort of see 30 years of your career flash before you in 48 minutes? Well, first, <laughs> first of all, I'm, I'm really... I don't know what word to use. You can say it in French. Yes, even in French, I don't know what to No, but in the sense that I'm, I'm overwhelmed, in the sense that, you know, I'm, I'm one throughout many, many artists that work very hard. Uh, I see Paul. I'm. I can't wait to to hear more of, of you and what you do. Um, but I see all of these artists from. You know, I've been. I worked in heavy metal for so long, and seeing uh, in an underground world where everybody just works. It's like an underground uh, in um, in Fourmilia where everybody just works, and there's something that works because we keep on doing it. There's people that help you and people that want to hear more of you. So coming from this school, I just started doing the same thing in world music and seeing things happen. Just to, but to answer your real question, uh, je, je suis vraiment honoré d'avoir euh, la chance d'être de, de, euh, le protagoniste de, de Calière et QC. Um, et surtout parce que je vois que il y a vraiment un, un, un vaste monde, une vaste richesse à travers les langues, à travers les musiques du monde et autres. De, Au-delà de tout ce qu'on nous, on nous envoie devant les, la télé ou devant... Même, c'est rendu même dans les réseaux sociaux aussi. C'est même difficile dans les réseaux sociaux de sortir du, du lot. Mais je suis un de ceux qui réussit. Je fais des shows. Je gagne ma vie avec ma musique. So that's the important for me, that's the important thing. But the, this documentary, you, you, you did it because there are many obstacles also. 
and we can't deny that. So that's why, and I'm really, really, je suis très reconnaissant. Merci euh, énormément. Je n'ai jamais assez de merci pour vous, à vous dire. Um, Aisha, I'm going to sort of ask you to, to give us a sense of, um, just from some of the work you've written and some of the work you've done, how is the, indi the Quebec industry treating? <laughs> it's a tough one. <laughs> We want to know. <laughs> But just from, you know, you've talked to other artists about this issue, you know, being an artist that doesn't fall under the sort of, you know, francophone mainstream um, category. Yeah. How's uh, the industry treating those artists? Ooh. Um, I mean, <laughs> I've written a piece in 2017 for The Fader, yeah. and I got into a lot of problems for it because it was an American publi uh, publication, and I wrote about the gap um, between uh, French-speaking and uh, English-speaking uh, uh, people in terms of grants. Just the access of money is, is like someone from the industry was like, off the record, there's more money in the whole Canada for French-speaking music than there is for the rest, you know? And you have to like go into certain tricks to get something. You know, it's easier if it's not in English and you're Quebec-based, but then it's very harder if it's English-speaking music and you're Quebec-based. But, you know, for myself or people around me are all like uh, native French speakers making music in English. For myself, I, I make music uh, in um, Portuguese, um, uh, Creole, and English, you know, Kay. so it's kind of safe, you know, <laughs> but <laughs> whatever. But then so <laughs> to, <laughs> to know that just the resources are bigger for a certain group, this is unfair. And then also when it comes to like radio plays and stuff like that, because I was on the other side of the game. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Radio oh, plays a big uh, question. Do you, so do you uh, also work in French? Do you have French only or only Portuguese? Uh, well, only, not only. Ouais, j'ai jamais fait de la musique en français. Jamais en français. Okay. Je, je, je sais même pas si un jour ça va arriver. T'sais. Ok. Non, Pourtant, je, je genre, c'est c'est ma langue maternelle. C'est ta langue maternelle. Oui. C'est ça. Puis quand j'ai travaillé à Radio Canada. Uh, j'ai fait uh, une résidence en tant que DJ, puis je faisais deux heures de DJ set à chaque mois, et j'ai jamais été autant anxieuse de ma vie à faire un DJ set. Pas parce que c'était une institution, et puis en plus c'est la première fois qu'on me payait, puis vraiment beaucoup là, hein, ok, pour faire ça. Mm -hmm. Fait que c'était comme, ok, it's sustainable, non, 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 mais genre tellement d'anxiété, genre par rapport aux quotas, tu comprends, et, et, okay, et, ça, ça. et ça me faisait vraiment de la peine. Euh, parce que, un exemple, euh, j'habite à Parc Extension, euh, puis euh, une de mes collègues musiciennes euh, qui s'appelle Kali Technis, vraiment excellente songwriter, origine grecque, super Park X. Puis, <rire> puis tu sais, comme on a fait une chanson ensemble, euh, justement la chanson elle commence un peu en grec, puis après ça va en anglais, super UK garage, like club things, played on BBC Radio 1, but I could not play it on the radio here in my city, in à where... À cause des quotas. À you cause know, des quotas, oui. Parce que c'est comme, ben là, il faut que tu choisis ton quota anglophone, canadien, and then, you know, uh, all that to say that one day, uh, like, I really want to sit down with the CRTC people and tell them that we need a new category or something, you know, locally. Now, for people who don't know, uh, let's talk just, we were going to come back to it after, but mm -hmm. I might as well talk about it now. Um, so radio play and the quotas, when we talk about quotas, it's language, right? Yeah. Can you give us a breakdown of, in Quebec, what the radio stations have so, to do? So basically, the quota is the most important one. It's like 65, 65% of your musical content has to be French Canadian. So French speaking music from Canada, mm. 65%, okay? And no shade at all, but There's <laughs> a lot of things you can say it. <laughs> in that realm that is worth, for me, being played, okay? okay? And on the other side, okay, I feel like there's so much potential, but there's so much DIY. Like you said, there's a fourmilière, and I'm not talking about musical style, you know what I'm saying? But then mm -hmm. also musical style counts in this. So that 65% French speaking that they're talking about, it considers it's pop. But then when these quotas say pop music, it has 
ça veut rien dire, là. Mm-hmm. Tu comprends? So they count hip-hop as pop, they will put rock in pop, they will put R&B in pop, they will put anything that is like contemporary music in pop, okay? And then you have a 35% of English speaking Canadian music. But then, of course, me as a curator, I'm going to put only like, you know, Quebec based artists, Montre- Montreal based artists as much as I can, you know? And then you have the world, you know, the world part, which is, I hate that word. I hate it because it's tellement pejorative for anybody from wherever you are in the world, actually, you know? But that's another discussion. But then this part is like World Canada. C'est comme un peu plus, ça peut take over, it can take over the rest. It's safe. You can put more world music than French speaking, but still a little French speaking, but it's, it's okay, passes. But the other one, English cannot uh, prevail over French, but autre langue can prevail over over French, over French if you want there's some little tricks about about it you can it still passes but when you when you say uh, when you talk about quotas the 65% what so see that's only that's not for uh, how do you say it's only for public radio not oui la CRTC ça. ça englobe tout le Canada public par exemple oui. pas pas euh, comment dire euh, rouge et compagnie c'est euh, privé je pense que eux aussi ils ça mm, je pas sûr They're affected too. Oui, the private. Aussi affected tout le monde. But Show My FM is. Uh, so we we have to say when we <laughs> talk about the 65% French, we're talking about the French Another language thing. stations. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The French language. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Ça, oui, exact, oui. exactement. Yeah. Ben, c'est, c'est un peu comme les radios, c'est un vestige de un ancien système que tu sais. Tu te souviens que à HMV là, il mm-hmm. y avait des lois ici au Québec qui séparent les trucs en francophone et anglophone. Mm-hmm. Um, it's strange that there's, you know. There's that division, but it's still there's still <laughs> it, when you go and you see Radio Canada. It's funny. I have I, look. I, I do everything in French and English, so I, I moi je joue les deux tout le temps. Mm-hmm. Puis uh, there is no liaison between the C, the the, uh, the CBC mm-hmm. music programming mm-hmm. and Radio de Radio Canada music programming, yeah. and that's because there's a whole bunch of old white uh, uh, Quebec separatists, you know, that are in charge of what, you know, so and then when you go to Canada, it's the, the people who are going like, well, Brian Adams' work is in Nickelback works and, you know, Sam Roberts works and uh, Serena Ryder, and that's it. And that's and all when you say there's no liaison, you mean there's no Nobody link. goes between yeah. them. Not because one passes Nobody goes like, hey, Carqua, yeah, we d- we've done some, like, test marketing here in Quebec. Yeah. Carqua's blowing up everywhere. People love them in the States, so why don't you play it in English Canada? Mm-hmm. There's nobody going and saying... Why don't you play this from Montreal? Why don't you play this from Quebec? You know, so it, it's yeah. a it's a weird. Il y a comme un manque de communication entre les le main droit et la main gauche. Segregation. Yeah. Let's say. It. Well, let's say the real the real word is sure. segregation. Je sure. You know what I'm saying? I every time I try, I always on tour in Europe and stuff, and I'm I'm just always like, yeah, Montreal is segregated. Quebec is segregated. Loki. I would love to, I'm always saying Quebec zit and all that stuff, like we should separate <laughs> Montreal right. from the rest of Quebec, okay? You gotta call Ballarama a whole Paul, you guys need well, to talk more. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I wanna, <laughs> I wanna give a, Paul says this too, he calls it, anyway. But, but the rock. The rock. The rock, the like rest, rest of Quebec. Because everybody I talks about it, the ROC and also. the rock. But, tu sais, for me aussi, je pense que le truc qui est comme unique de qu'est-ce qui se passe ici à Montréal, not Quebec, Montreal is le, le côté, la culture franglais, mais la, cultu, la culture inter, interculturelle. Ça veut dire que, tu sais, moi, j'ai des amis qui chantent en créole, j'aimerais ça avoir une chorus ou un refrain qui est en créole, à, à inviter mon ami Marco à aller chanter en italien, puis après ça, je fais mon yeah, truc en français avec mon accent. That's what I do. We the same gang. We gang gang. But, you, you know? see... Here, we do. here on television and radio, but they don't want it, because there is nothing listen, to, to get you Listen, did you heard what they say today? This, yeah. you know, there's it's, children. It's I cannot swear, but <laughs> this guy, this guy, they've heard it all. 85% of immigrants don't have Work. jobs. Tu comprends? 
they're talking about, about all of us here because we're all children of immigrants. Ça fait mal. Ça fait mal parce que pendant que tout le monde est malade, là, c'est qui qui s'en va travailler? Mm-hmm. Ouais, c'est qui qui va travailler? C'est, c'est qui qui run la boulangerie? C'est qui qui run euh, les, les, les infirmières, les, run, les taxis et tout? You know who does that? It's Mais us. Ouais. It's our parents. It's our families. It's all of that's, us. That's We run this raison. city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, And they don't, want, they don't want to, to understand that how mixed we are. Or you know what I'm saying? Oui, mais Even in my family, we're like, listen, you know, Haitian and Italian yeah, weddings. we're quite the same. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I've been there. This is my life. Even in my music, I told you, my song is in Greek and in, in, the, in English. My other song is Portuguese and in English. Creole, Portuguese, English, French. But the thing is, like, with pour eux, um, there's a definition of a bon immigrant. Tu comprends ce que je veux dire? And then if they put us in this box, and I feel like if we don't, as a collective, you're from a, a metal background, world music, Italian music, you're from a rock background, I'm from electronic music and hip hop. If everybody, we sit down, we write a letter, and we protest to the maximum, and we're like, listen, we need new categories because we cannot survive. Spotify is not feeding me. You know what I'm saying? And like, I don't know when my gig is gonna be taking off me because it's gonna be another virus with like two, three antennas on, on its head. You know what I'm saying? C'est comme, those revenues are very important. Il y a des artistes francophones là sur Sirius XM là, qui font 15 000 piastres par oui. année. Oh, look, I understand what she's saying. I just want to say something no, else. No, but go on, I think it's purposely done. Exactly. You know, I'll go forward to this. These political, every charter, the charter of the French language, the, ch- the Bill 96, now these are measures that also instigate some sort of, let's call it segregation or categorization between people. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't fit into a predetermined mold, then this mold is really very, it, it's undermining, right? So if you don't fit into this mold in the definitions that are really clearly stated, then you are unallowed to be and to express yourself. So what does this mean today in terms of artists? It means that if you don't fill those, the specific, um, the specific uh, uh, determinations of singing in French and or in English, if you can, if you're allowed to, then you fit into the other box. And this is not simply another box, it's utterization, right? So you do not exist. The immigrants that we refer to or the second, first, second generation immigrants, we do not exist as a people who have a say. And this is the, 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 the harshest reality when in fact it economically, the economic model functions because of the so-called immigration input. Right? But even the cultural landscape. Oh, not even, yeah. But you let's know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the cultural landscape. Let's because we've the made Italians, them cool. The they try to, they you know. try to talk like <laughs> us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but they just don't. You know what I'm saying? It, listen, rap in Quebec, they have this specific lingo. I'm from Montreal Nord, okay? Me too. Listen, <laughs> Italian, you know. <laughs> Me I know, too. listen. I know, I grew up with y'all. I know y'all. <laughs> <laughs> You know, see, charcuterie de Noël and all that stuff. No. Mais oui, là, t'inquiète, on I est là. I was right there on the on court there. On est là, on est là. <laughs> oh Yo. my God. Non, non. <laughs> <laughs> Mais, tu sais, dans le sens où, comme, tu sais, on est, on est là, on a toujours, on a fait partie de cette culture-là dans, dans l'espèce de underground aussi, puis c'est dur de, comme, de sustain. C'est ça qui, qui me fait mal, tu sais. Comme là, j'ai, j'ai un peu crack the code avec les subventions, genre... J'ai travaillé you pour... You cracked euh, the code? <laughs> yeah. Davero. Yeah, yeah. So all my friends are calling me, come correct my grant, come correct my grant. You know, parce que, tu sais, il y a comme... Tu sais, il y a un petit... You know, we, there's a way to flip it. But then after that, the resource things, it's really the CRTC the, that, that guides, like, oh, this quota works or not. Parce que c'est important, tu sais. C'est, c'est important de... The, the And I want to give a concrete example of... of Because, you know, some people will be like, oh, but it's quotas, 35%, you have enough room. But Marco Cagliari, you sing, you're a Quebecois artist, you sing in Italian. Mm-hmm. Who are you competing against? Mm. Uh, you know, when the radio programmer is trying to decide the 35%, who are you competing who against? I, I have no idea. I, actually, you know what? I really don't know who I'm competing against. You're I competing don't against ca- English Canada. S- au no, even worse. We may. You too, all Lady Gaga, all Gaga all yeah, all Katy Perry. Music. Because That's for for a while, because yeah. yeah. maybe it is even changed, but for a while, because I play, I play 120 shows uh, a, a year, and people buy my shows. I play, 
but and sometimes I've been invited in radio stations, big radio stations that for an hour show with me, <laughs> a special, and they can't even play my music. But I'm the I'm the not the host, but I'm Tishu Lenvite yeah. Special. Yeah. They can't play my songs, even if it's so it's un peu comment tu prends ça? T'es comme admi, mais pas. Fait que t'es comme ah t'es notre ami, mais faut que tu restes dans, dans le cabanon en arrière parce capoté, que. C'est capoté, ça. Mais oui, c'est capoté. Mais il y a des choses, ce qu'elle veut dire, ce elle, où elle veut aller, Agatha, c'est que. À un moment donné, quand j'ai eu un deuxième album qui a vendu beaucoup, I had a second album that sold a lot and that could have flipped things, but it wasn't even enough. I kept on having the answer. We can't change uh, a U2 song or a Lady Gaga song for one of your songs, even if you're popular, because, because we just can't. It's just that. There's like no reason. It's just I'm we, gonna, we're I'm not gonna allowed say that, to do it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it out loud, okay? Go. And this is like... That what I think the, the most upsetting part for me is like in this last week, we, yes, we heard the comments from the minister, the immigration yeah. minister and from the leader of the CAC, who I won't say his goddamn name. Um, he, should lose, he should lose the vote. They should, they should be kicked out, you know, just for being racists. Do you know what I mean? But the thing is that that attitude, that racist attitude, mm -hmm. and that them trying to go and bite, you know, and get a Duhem vote or a PQ vote or whatever, you know, they're basically just... It, this is still a regional and city battle. The, when you, when I, it's the same thing for me. When I go to the regions, the only song they're ever going to play, ever, is Un Rose Noir. I, I could be coming out with a new record. I, it could be doing pretty well in the States. The, it could be in English or in French, too. Like, there, there could be both. But they're only ever going to play the one song that, know. you know, that was like, that fit into a certain mandate at a certain time and that my accent was good and I sounded like a uh, le bon Québécois anglo that I really wanted. No, but what I'm, what I'm just trying to say is that I still think it's like, there's, it's, it's still like, a, it, it, it's still a, 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 a regional versus the city. Like it's, we're, we're coming from Montreal. Is, they, don't, they don't like you. They don't want you there. It is, but, I'm not, and I don't want to, we know each other, but they play your song. They can't even if I'm I'm I have a sold out show and she could see me. Yeah. They won't even they can't even play more than five seconds unless I go there live. Live I can do whatever I want. Sometimes I woke up at 6 a.m. to go do an interview, and for a show that I'm doing like like the, the, the same night and the, Marco, you have to come to the station. We got to do something. Okay, can you play a song? Oh no, we can't play them. But see, it's not the what people that don't. Th this is what I'm saying. It's not the people that don't want you there. I know. The it's, the, yeah. They're all yeah. cool. It's the they system. don't want you there. It's the si it's I know, the but, system, yeah. but that's the problem. They, même les animateurs, les journalistes, ils, ils veulent même pas dévier le système quand yeah. c'est tout à fait you know logique. C'est même plus une logique. But all just, of them, they all love the status quo because it pays their bills. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is so so th so I have friends here in Montreal who um, who uh, are very involved in hip hop, right? So I I produce a lot of hip hop too, but like the cipher, the the cipher, and you know the, the, this this is an incredible phenomenon. You, like every week, there's 300 people coming through, and there's rappers, and it's it's all English and French and Creole and patois, and it's it's a really interesting thing, but. Taking it, exporting that outside of Montreal, there's a huge political resistance because here is about the protection of a culture. Il y a la protection d'une langue. C'est très, très, très spécifique. Au lieu de penser à l'exportation, c'est pas comme la promotion, d'aller promouvoir la culture montréalaise, interculturelle, interlinguiste, polyglotte. We don't, we don't have the, 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 uh, the foresight, you know, to go like, all right, let's, let's, Let's take this to Philly. Let's, you know, Philadelphia had like a, have a freestyle culture where everybody, you know, it's an important thing that let's take this thing to New York. Montreal has an interesting hip hop thing happening. Let's make this everywhere. Let's let everybody know Montreal is a hip hop mecca destination. Mm -hmm. But instead, they can't get play anywhere. Nobody's, nobody knows about it outside of this city. And it's th this is a problem. This is a problem that we're being blocked by somebody who is the protectionism has blocked our ability to promote. But it's purposely done again. It's done. Why? Why is Montreal like such a vibrant, polycultural, uh, polylinguistic society? It's the it's the result of their very politics. 
the politics of the 1970s and even prior to that made it so putting French as being the, the, the common language or the official language of communication made it so that it, it, it's a distinct place where all peoples of, of different cultural and linguistic backgrounds were able to maintain their mother tongue in addition to learning French, in addition to learning English, which makes it a, 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 um, a unique place in the world. It really does. We're like we're set by others. It, like in my work is being uh, looked at by uh, universities in Europe, universities in Ireland, where they look at minority uh, realities yeah. and artists, and they see this place as a gem. And the irony is, we are the result. What we see here is we are the result of these politics, Quebecois politics. But the government in place does not recognize. They they did not think of this outcome. They thought that we, they were going to create like nationalist, mm -hmm. uh, pre predetermined nationalist cookie cutter people that would only follow a certain nationalist view. Whereas at the contrary, we are a diverse, uh, incredibly yeah. rich uh, uh, population. And this is not being recognized at all, nor is it being like you say, Paul, like you say as well, being uh, uh, featured as a selling point. It's being stomped on, and well it's so depressing. We need so to depressing. resist together. We need to ally ours. Like you know, I I didn't know you guys before. I'm sure you we know people that we know, and I just think like it just takes like someone who writes very well, write the letter, circulate in your network, your network, your network. Everybody signs, and I don't know says something about yeah, I speak three languages or whatever. I'm sure everybody here speaks three languages or more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then or something that makes it like very politically, and then, because we have to unite ourselves, we're, we're more than them, and we know who we are. They don't know. Everybody's trying to analyze from the mm -hmm. outside what is it to be a Montrealer and speak all those languages, yang, yang, yang. But because they're not inside, you know? And they're they not don't inside this they reality. Didn't grew, they didn't grow up like from the get-go. We all, we were all bred Rest like roots, this. Yeah. Tu comprends? C'est comme c'est vraiment quelque chose que si ensemble, even though on n'est pas dans la même musique, on a tout le même goal. Tu vois ce que je veux dire? Parce que si la CRTC change les lois, on peut avoir n'importe quelle station de radio spécialisée après. Tu vois ce que je veux dire? Et je pense que les fonds vont aussi suivre. Mais c'est ça. C'est aussi les, les programmateurs devraient changer aussi. Je pense qu'il y a comme un problème dans try. la programmation. Listen, c est, c est, I know people at EC, EC Music, and it's a battle from the inside as well. Parce que tant que la CRTC ne change pas, eux, ils sont obligés de rester dans des cadres. There's people with no taste working there, but there's people <laughs> with taste. Il y avait, y avait les, les ex-joueurs ex de bande à part. Comme bande à part était là, puis ils étaient en train de comme pousser des boutons et changer un peu, mais ça n'existe plus. Ils ont mis d'or. Ouais, ouais, Il y a un nouveau son mais maintenant est... qui n'est pas pire. Ouais. Ouais. And Paul, you brought up your single Un Rose de Noir that came out in 2007. So for right. people who don't know, because that changed your career path. Because you had been doing music for quite a while before. That. So yeah. give us a resume. So you think Marco is old and he's been doing music a long time. You're what, old. what year are you You're in? Old too. I've been... Uh, th listen, I've been old. I should say, I interviewed you the first time. Were you like 15, 16? Yeah, at yeah. CKT, underground, underground Sound. Yeah, CKT. Um, yeah, I've been doing this for a really, really long time with uh, very moderate, moderate success. It was doing, I was doing fine, actually. You know, the Vendettas were a group very popular at the time. But yeah, I decided to release an album in French. Puis, tu sais, tu vois, moi, I don't even, I'm, I shouldn't even be at this panel because I'm like, I'm the definition of a certain kind of privilege. I sing in English and can do whatever I want. And then I do this stuff in French and, tu sais, les bourses ou les succès commerciaux, je l'ai eu. Tu sais, I've had a whole bunch of top tens, you know. So I've benefited incredibly from what Quebec and Montreal is. Uh, being able to, like, jump between the two has brought me to, like, I, tu sais, j'ai fait des tournées en France. J'ai joué, uh, joué partout au Canada. What, par what would you change for your path? You know, to... to pour, um, pour, uh, comment je peux dire? Pour uh, améliorer ton, ton chemin à toi. You, you know what? I would have said yes to way more things when I, was, when I had a commercial hit. Because uh -huh. back then, I was just like, no. I rejected everything commercial. I, every, you know, there would be Belle et Bum would call me and be like, you, you want to do the show? I'm like, no. I don't want to do it. You I want, said I, no to I want my punk rock credibility. <laughs> I want to stay underground. I don't want to do this. I, 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 part of, like, for me, it was like rejecting the system was, was going to be the thing that was 
gonna gonna yeah. was gonna be the political prowess was reje rejection and it, you know okay. now I wish I just said yes and now tout le monde en parle would be inviting me and I could say whatever the hell I want and exactly then, you, know. you know that's my goals huh <laughs> that's my goal <laughs> yeah, but let's go let's go but let's go uh, let's go but singing in French but singing but having see, one <laughs> song in French that's changes that's what I everything to talk. you like think your song in French the, 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 the that's that's just uh, uh, that's the unfortunate re it's it's I'm not. trying to I'm trying to go to tout monde en parle with no music in French and just but thump on see, the so the thing it is doesn't happen, for Paul it's fantastic because your career trajectory changed with that <laughs> one French single the problem is, it's almost like it's a kind of a reminder for everyone else that well, doesn't sing it, in French. It's not that. It's that uh, okay, so here, let me talk about yeah. this film. Okay, yes. after we did this film, yeah. like I, I went, I went and uh, say, uh, je pense que Tula avait fait un 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 uh, an article là-dessus. She did an interview with me. Uh, yes, and she she took a sorry, quote. Sorry, we should say for people don't, uh, for uh, cult we, MTL. Sure, uh, but they took a quote, right? And they take a quote that I, je pense que j'avais j'ai dit ça en français mais ils ont traduit parce que c'était comme un, oui. pour, uh, un truc en anglais. So they, so on this tweet headlined thing was, you know, Paul Cornello says uh, I think something rather innocuous like we need to be promoting more minority languages in Quebec. Yeah, I would love to hear more Creole, more yeah. more Italian. Exactly. I even said Italian, but you know, just for you. <laughs> uh, I know. And uh, and I said that in the in the quote of Dene Algonquin, you know, I said a whole bunch of things. Anyway, and uh, the the um, the you know the Twitter the Twitter Pied Piper of the Pickist uh, yeah. like hammer just came down, head off. came down on me. It was like they as if Paul has been duping us for the last you know twenty years of his career singing in French, he and uh, he did it all just to just to win our just to sell records, and then now he's cutting us off at the knees. And look at this look at this guy selling out all his francophone fans. Ban Paul Kanye like nobody wanted to buy my new record, and I was like. Look, you know, and the, and people were writing. Paul hasn't written a French song in ten years. I'm like, I, I put suppose. out a French record last but year. Yeah, you put one just out. You know, now. it's just you don't know about it anymore, and you don't care about me. And I'm 43, and I'm getting old. Mais you know? fou, mais but, but it's only ça here. It's oui, only here. Sais. But the fact that I'm, I, listen, I'm not saying. Moi, je dis absolument rien différent de qu'est-ce que j'avais dit oui. dans ma carrière. Puis même, je pense que. Je pense que j'avais une éloquence dans, dans le documentaire. Dans le passé, là, moi, j'étais... Okay. <laughs> dans le passé, j'étais beaucoup plus baveux, là, tu sais, avec mes opinions. Uh. Anyway. We so managed to keep all your F-bombs out of the film. See, this is what I'm saying. So, I, but like, you, you got scared on this one, though. Well, it's just... It, it's, it scared you. It's just that what happens is, ça devient comme... Tu sais, même... Tu, tu vois, moi, j'ai profité beaucoup. Moi, je suis un homme cis... I'm, I'm, the, I'm oh, yeah. the definition of privilege. I've had commercial success. I should, like, I have 18 albums. I'm doing really well. I own a recording studio. Mm -hmm. I am, like, in the top 0.2% of this mm -hmm. shitty little city, you know? <laughs> and I'm, like... <laughs> Said with love. But, yeah. but, like, but even though I'm all those things, when I say something to defend, I think they were offended by just me saying Creole. And you have all these people who are so mad at you because they are... They are because nationalistic they have their, they have their and white issues. and racist. They have their own traumas that they never resolved. You know That's what I'm so saying? Silly. I wouldn't call it we, trauma. Everybody, I would say everybody has their trauma, okay? Italians has their trauma. Sure. Haitians but has their trauma. We all have traumas that we carry from back home and here. I've never been to Haiti, but I'm sure I have my traumas of my grandmother or whatever. But I'm trying to auto-analyze myself and not put those traumas in other people's face. Well, what I think what but other they they have their own trauma and they don't even know that their trauma is well, I, I would also say that I think that xenophobia is like people people don't like, oh you can't say xenophobia anymore you can't say fascism you can't say racism because it's an insult no it's, it's a descriptor real. there is xenophobia there is racism and fascism is on the rise globally and so we have all these things happening right <coughs> now and then uh, you know, the minute that th this 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 darling, this le bon anglo, you know, that everybody loved, oui. is now coming out saying like, ah, oh, hey, we got to support other languages too, and that's me How a betrayal to my yeah. French, dare my you. own French, my own French catalog, my own francophone audience. You know, it, it's not. It's not a betrayal of those people. I, I moi j'aime j'aime ça écrire en français. Moi oui. moi j'aime tellement d'aller tu toucher les deux pour les mauvaises raisons. Là. Yeah, but, well, there you go. And that everybody's like, oh, you just he was just trying to make money. <laughs> I don't know. You know, whatever. That means it's, I'm trying to make money with my little with with my couple of French songs that I can't even get grants for. 
And but because they want me to stay at Italian. We're going to do, do a French record. That's another oh, yeah, thing. They want you to stay at Italian. They want me to stay at Italian. You're in a nice category of the other. You see, yeah. in the point, listen, <coughs> when you put out Mi Ricordo, which yeah. is an album in 2014, and that's what really attracted me to w mm -hmm. the work that you were doing. So Mi Ricordo, Je me souviens, the motto for, for uh, Quebec. Right. Marco decides to honor his, his strong link to Quebec and C Quebec history and roots to honor uh, 11 Quebecois song, uh, songwriters. Mm -hmm. And he does so by reinterpreting them in Italian so that he could have his Italian counterparts so the rest oh of yeah. Europe understand what uh, La Chanson Quebecoise is all about and what were his influences, part of his influences. Well, that album was the one that sold the least. And, mm -hmm. and why, and I analyzed it, I thought, I said, why did it sell the least when you were giving such a gift, an homage à la chanson québécoise en italien, figure-toi, il fait quelque chose d'exceptionnel, mais non, on le boude, on le boude en disant, ben non, mais là, tu peux pas toucher à ça, puis ben, comment on va le catégoriser, mais ben, voyons, c'est en italien, mais même si c'est beau dommage ou c'est la bolduc en italien, ben c'est pas correct non plus, même si ça fait des tournées partout au Québec, en Italie, etc., ça veut dire quoi? Ça veut dire que là, Marco Carliari, c'est plus c'est plus l'italien euh, folklorique, euh, charmant, euh, other, euh, exotique, là. C'est qui, Marco? Il veut être québécois? Ben non, pas, pas possible. Non, pas ici. And that, that, that's what sparked everything for okay, me. Okay, well, before, before, and before everybody, uh, you know, starts saying it's all Quebec bashing at this panel, I just want to say, not. this is not Quebec bashing. It's like, <laughs> but also, like, we, <laughs> we're all explaining. Québécois. Nous sommes tous des Québécois, and, like, oui. we're allowed to bash Quebec. We should be bashing oui. Quebec yes, as much it's, as possible. It's, but, ooh. <laughs> and Canada too. It's we hard. Should. It's hard to say je suis québécois. It's very difficult. Oh, it's oh, very we difficult. start with that. Yeah. But I'm just saying it's but like it's to like me, I, I cannot say it. I, I was born it, it was minus thirty in Montreal, but I still I cannot say je suis québécoise. Ça, je peux pas le dire. Can you say you are Canadian? Pas. Je le sens pas, je suis montréalaise avant d'être haïtienne, tu comprends? Ouais, Mais aussi. je suis pas québécoise. Okay. Parce que genre, je sors de la ville et puis ils me regardent, puis ils sont comme, hey, tu viens d'où? Ça, ça, je suis d'accord avec, je suis d'accord avec toi. Mais, Anita and I have had like but, hours and hours discussing this. But, so she, this much, she couldn't what? believe that I would call, I would, yeah, yeah. I always say I call myself a Montrealer way before I call but myself a Québécois. Mais non, I'm Québécoise parce que Montreal est en Québec et moi je suis Québécoise et je redéfinis. Mais je vais demander moi, le, Mais j'aimerais ça demander la question à Marco parce que pour ouais. Marco, lui a une, a une fierté. You ouais. like Québec. Tu, toi, t'es comme toi, t'es comme je suis Québécois, je suis fier d'être Québécois. Yeah. Puis, puis tu sais, pour moi, moi, j'étais comme, je me sens aliéné. Puis j'ai dit, ok, oublie tout ça là, tu sais. Puis moi, je suis pas, moi, je rejette le nationalisme en général. Uber uh, rejection of nationalism. So for you. You feel pride in this place. Les régions. Est-ce qu'on utilise le mot pride? Je ne sais pas. Moi, tout ce que je sais, c'est tout est dans le, le parcours. Le parcours de moi, enfant de la loi 101, à Saint-Michel, qui dans mes classes, il y a l'Espagne, le Chili, l'Haïti, le Liban, le Vietnam. Puis ça, c'est ma normalité. Et surtout, toi ça. aussi. Toi aussi, mais ça, c'est ma normalité. Mais attends, je sors You'll de là. You'll never understand us. That's the thing. You I have know. something pure in your hands. And they will never understand. C'est ça qui m'énerve. It's so beautiful. Mais t'as absolument raison. T'as absolument raison. Mais de là, pour répondre à Paul, parce que je, je sais, en tout cas, oui, j'ai ça. Qu a eu. Oui, j'ai ça. Et Paul, on, on est différent pour ça. Mais je ne suis pas le nationaliste. Je suis quelqu'un qui aime le Québec pour toutes ces... Ses, ses richesses, et on parle autant d'immigration que autant de... Le sirop d'érable. De, <rire> de traditions des fois mal, mal placées, OK, on va dire ça comme ça, mais parce que j'ai grandi en... Quand j'ai parti mon premier groupe heavy metal, on a 14 ans. Deux, deux Espagnols, un Chilien, moi l'Italien, puis on va... Notre première tournée en dehors de Montréal, c'est Chicoutimi. Puis on arrive à Chicoutimi, puis personne... Et en fait, tout le monde est indifférent. Il n'y a personne qui nous dit « Hey, les Montréalais » ou « Hey, les fils d'importés ». Jamais on n'a eu ça. C'était comme « The vibe is metal, the vibe is music, and we like it ». Fait que jamais on a été jugé. Fait que moi, ça part de là. Moi, j'ai cette espèce de, de feeling-là que je reçois et que ça continue, c'est continuel. Au final, on remplit des, 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 des festivals, des salles, partout dans le Québec, mais on sait qu'on est différent. On chante en quatre langues, en français, anglais, espagnol, italien, et on, 
il nous aime pour ça, même si on est à rouen Rwanda, puis c'est sûrement le nationaliste full keb là, qui est devant nous, puis qui capote. Mais pour moi, c'est une fierté. Parce que je sais que je suis différent, mon parcours est différent. Fait que moi, si on m'a compris, ben pour moi, c'est là, là c'est comme une victoire, tu sais. C'est de juste filer la vibe. Je te donne un petit exemple. Ah, Attends. I feel the Michel, flag Michel Pagliaro, Serge Fiori. Il n'y a pas un Québécois qui, qui a dans sa tête que, hey, Fiori, c'est italien, ça. Pagliaro, c'est italien. Non, parce qu'ils sont tellement ancrés dans la culture québécoise francophone qu'ils oublient même de leur, leur parcours. Mais aussi parce que Serge Fiori et, et Pagliaro, ce n'est pas comme s'ils parlent de l'Italie tout le temps. Fait que je comprends ça, mais en même temps, tu mettons, Fiori à la disque qui se fait donner un prix euh, pour son œuvre, pas une fois dans tout l'hommage, ils ont nommé son, son vrai parcours, fils d'immigrant, que son père, c'était Georges Fiori, euh, un, un, un crooner italien, que Fiori a appris à jouer de la guitare sur des, des, des classiques italiens. Personne n'a demandé ça, mais lui, il l'expose pas non plus, alors je peux non, pas y en vouloir. Non, c'est ça, you know, ben moi, oui. je peux pas, you know, I cannot hide. I you know, know you I go in a room, they know, yeah. they know. I have to claim it. I know. Hey, il faisait moins 30 quand je suis né. <rire> Genre, 3 février. Le, non. Le 1er janvier. Ah, you know? OK, c'est vrai. Tu sais, c'est comme, like, I have to claim that, no. that snow when yes. I was born. Parce que sinon, c'est comme, non. Tu like, rentres dans la pièce, puis direct. You, you know, I'm not white passing, or I'm not pass. No. I cannot pass for something. Like Paul said, you know what exactly. I'm saying? We're it's white passing, puis c'est triste. Ça, c'est une no, tristesse. Et, you know, there's no ambiguity when sais. I go into a room, là. Tu sais, on s'entend, là. Puis, mais, fait que c'est comme ces différentes réalités, tu vois. Je tu, peux, oh, tu peux te cacher étant <coughs> italien, puis avoir oui. certains traits. Et être blanc, je you know peux dire. Well, I, 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 you know, just speaking about music in general, I'd really hoped, going into this industry, that what I would encounter is a more sensitive group of people, mm -hmm. or a more politically aware group of people, or a group of people that had a, a sensibilisation à, à comme des autres. Oui. But what I've discovered is that, no, it's a white boys club. They let me in, they gave me a mic because they were like, you kind of look like us, but you're not talking like us, so we don't like you anymore. Well, and in, and for, for everybody that isn't that, it, it becomes incredibly hard. And we, our industry suffers from the same racism and exclu uh, like exclusionism and uh, bigotry that every other industry has. And we, ha we have to do our own reckoning with it. The misogyny, the, you know, the, the grooming, the, the sexual abuse. We're, it's, we're discovering that with all our rock heroes right now. We're discovering, you know, how many people have been abusive right up until, you know, Arcade Fire. Sure. We are, we are sure. in trouble. No, but our industry is in trouble. That's right. right? And, we ha and it's up to us to, like, reckon and fix it. The conversations like this, that's the most important, you know? Well, this is going to be, like, we've got maybe about five, ten minutes. Ah. What do we and I have yeah. a show at 7.30. Yeah. What do we do to... What do we do? How do we change things so that... <sighs> You know, Let's make the letter. The Quebec, yeah, Quebecois artists who just happen to not sing in French. Letter. letter. How do, yeah, how do we get them to be part of the mainstream? That's the, that's the tough question. I, I, I told you. You want to start with the letter. If we make a letter, I'm say and we, something st harsh. we start with like people who have big names, like you, me, blah, blah, blah. All, everybody, not a certain genre. Because they will understand, oh, this si is tout le monde du hip-hop, le monde du rap. No. On puis on écrit nos genres de musique le principal so people ils comprennent que comme hey on vient de différentes sphères on est tous ensemble tu comprends ce que je veux dire mm -hmm. if we start with a letter that's that's the biggest thing we can do everybody can be involved we don't need to make a video or anything like we're all like busy like a manifesto yeah. c'est ça tu vois that's the first that's the first step that we do we stick together Because if we stick, it only takes five people to do the revolution. That's what my dad says. And then boom, boom, boom. We break the, the barriers and all the stuff like that, you know? Parce que c'est vraiment juste ça que ça prend. Parce qu'après, on va voir la CRTC, puis on pression, on pression. Et après, on peut avoir des stations de radio spécialisées par rapport au genre, au genre. ou par rapport à whatever. Demain. One last thing, because I'm going to have to go. For real, I have a show now. <laughs> But like... At the end of the day, I don't know for y'all, but music is a spiritual thing, you know, first and foremost, okay? It's something that we not see, that we cannot touch, but when it hits you, you feel no pain, <laughs> you know? So, reminding, genre, se rappeler de ça, premièrement, mm. et deuxièmement, genre, pour moi, la musique, c'est déjà le langage, you know? 
C'est that's, that's, déjà ça. Et vraiment, si on fait un statement qui vraiment qui rappelle ça, tu comprends ce que je veux dire? They, they will know who we are. And when I say who we are, is like the struggle of, I don't know which parents came here by boat. Your great-grandparents came from Italy by boat or whatever, or mine, or whatever. We are their prayers. There's nothing stronger than the prayer of a grandmother or something, you know, and she probably prayed for one of us to be here and, and be and defending and doing all that stuff. So let's be that person and, and, and join our forces together and smash it, you know? <laughs> C'est là que tu drop the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Vraiment, je suis vraiment contente. Je... Oh! The spirits are here! Jesus Christ. This is epic. We, 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 us, we got this on camera. That. The spirits, they say Non, avec toi, c'est drop the glass. C'est parfait, les man. Pets, ça veut dire que les, les esprits sont là. Okay, I'm gonna take everybody's qui parle. Instagram and stuff. I'm gonna and Facebook. Well, we're gonna we're gonna wrap things up. So thank you so much. Merci. Thank you, I'm merci. Sorry. Hein. Thank you. We can really keep going on for like hours and hours. Yeah. So thank you so <laughs> much bon. to Pop Montreal for inviting us. Oui. I think the first of many discussions. Yeah, this this no discussion yeah. needs to continue. <laughs> And I just I'm going to do a quick plug. So Cagliari QC, we are yeah. part of Pop Montreal, Pop Film. Uh, it's, a, it's a double bill tomorrow. So Cagliari QC and Pour de Vrai, two documentary films. Tomorrow, uh, October 1st, 3.30 p.m. at Cinema Moderne. Cool. And please go and uh, please yeah. voice. Go see the film because another thing... It is on CBC, like it is on CBC. Gem. Oh yeah, you know what? Since it is a streaming uh, right. video, they'll be on the internet forever. Um, Cagliari QC is available on CBC Gem. Yeah, across and just, Canada. And just for the story, il y a aucun diffuseur francophone qui a acheté le documentaire, mais pas encore. Pas on encore. Essaie. I like the pas encore. Oui, on essaie. It's, it's positive. It's positive. Mais merci, thank you, and I hope you're going to see Cagliari QC and and don't bash on this great. There's artist. no reason to. He didn't I know, but no, je sais, je sais. Mais c'est vraiment génial parce qu'elle apporte aussi euh, d'autres trucs, euh, d'autres réalités. Chacun, euh, on a nos, nos réalités. Dans le documentaire, il y a Katia Rock qui a sa réalité. Puis j'allais dire quelque chose de harsh tantôt. On, demandé que, on se demandait qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire. Puis j'allais dire quelque chose de harsh. We have to find dead bodies to, you know, pour se faire entendre. Mm -hmm. comme, comme là, les Premières Nations. Moi, je trouve ça complètement hypocrite. Tout le monde le sait, là, mais... C'est génial tout l'amour la, qu'ils reçoivent en ce moment, mais c'est tellement hypocrite parce que c'est il y a 30 ans que ça devrait être exactement comme ça commence à l'être en ce moment. Mm. Que Samian ait une parole, que la Radio-Canada ait des émissions et pas une chanson par mois qui passe mm -hmm. peut-être. Je trouve ça un dégueulasse et en même temps, je trouve ça beau pas euh, les pour les bonnes raisons. Ce euh, n'est pas, pas les restants. Non, ce n'est pas les restants. Et on n'a pas parlé de la disque parce que ça, c'est des, des, des génies du restant, des restants de miettes. Hein. Bref. Mm. Next pop. And on that, yeah, exactly. Merci, on that pop, note. Montréal. Merci. Hein? Merci. D'ailleurs, j'ai vu un super show hier à Pop Montréal, BB Club. C'était génial. C'était vraiment très bon. Super. Thank you, everyone. Merci. Thank you.